Hello everyone, welcome back to bmmlife.com. In the last uh, video, we discussed what page is in Quark Express and how to design uh, a master page and how to set up a master page. In this lesson, we are going to create a sample two pages of a magazine. So to do that, first we have set up our page, page number one, but we need one more page. So we go to Windows, Page Layout, F10. Uh, then we go to A Master A. The master page does not really matter here. We right click and select insert page. Insert one page after page one. Master page A Master A. Click OK. Now you have the second page. So now we are going to design one page of a magazine. Let's say it's a article on movies. So we are going to use our very own article and um, we are going to use this article. The benchmarks of Indian film industry. So we are going to select uh, this text, copy it and uh, go back to Quark Express. So we will create a new text box. Paste the text here, select it and the headlines has to be bold it has to be outspoken so we have to use a bold font so let's go through our font selections here let's look at all the fonts we have and uh, i would select the keep calm font now in this portion here you see the size of the font in points now as a general rule of thumb size 72 is 1 inch so if you calculate by that 36 points is going to be half inches so let's select 36 points now as you see the font size has increased we also see that the alignment is toward the left so we need to fix that first we'll go to paragraph and the alignment is over here so we have left alignment we need a centered alignment so we select centered and we get a center alignment. There is a lot of free space here. Now, in case of a magazine, it is not much of a problem, but in newspapers, every inch matters. So let's see how to fix it in a very nice way. We'll select this text, go to character. The font size, we'll just increase the font size a little. So let's try 48. Yeah, we don't really need this portion in our design. What matters the most in designing a newspaper is not what you want it is what you want the audience to read you want your audience to read so let us just increase this font size again to 48 benchmarks of let's increase this to let's say 60 now 60 is 60 is fine but the yes sometimes you would see uh, this happen uh, you increase this font size of your text but uh, some of the text goes missing and you see this small box with a red cross in it uh, to solve this problem simply click on your text box and drag it down so that it accommodates the remaining text uh, once you have done that so click on the move tool to deselect it now what you can do is these columns they, they kind of get irritating sometimes so you can select view and turn off guides there now you don't have those irritating guides and at the same time you have a very nice uh, look of how your page is going to appear now a good idea would be to put a very big photo here uh, the feature photo of our article so the feature photo I would want it to be this picture here we'll just save this now that we have imported the image from the website we need to put it in the page so to do that on this panel click on this this tool here the picture content tool the then drag a box about the size of your picture content and uh, 
there. This much seems enough. You can even make it bigger later. It does not need to be bound to any rules here. Yeah. Then right click inside the box, click on import, right, and in your documents, in your desktop, select the image and click open. So now this image, if you click outside the box, this is what you get. Now the image is cropped. To fix this, simply right click on the image and select scale picture to box and that will make your image fit inside the box to view again let's look let's see how it looks it looks good yeah it looks good so we can simply drag this box around now and uh, it will fit in very well so now that we have used the image uh, we need to put in the content now in a magazine usually two columns or three columns of content is fine so on this page let us make it a two column page so before we do that we need to copy our content from here yes and copy the content and then go on to quark express Turn on the guides. Make text boxes. Now you have to calculate. You have made a. You, these are 16 columns. So 16 divided by 2 will be 8. So 1 column, 2 column, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 columns. We have 8 columns and we drop it right here. And then we just uh, shift alt click and drag and we'll duplicate the text box and place it exactly besides the first text box now we'll just select the text tool in order to paste it and hit command V or control V and you get this same problem here that the text has fallen into uh, the text box but you have this red cross and this is where this tool comes into play the text linking tool now click the text linking tool click on this text box and then click on this text box so what that does is carries forward the text from this uh, this page this text box onto that text box and you can even carry it from this text box to a new text box that you create on this page so let us look at let us look at this all right now this is our first paragraph and uh, we need to make it look a bit impressive so we'll do some formatting so a drop cap effect is when the first letter of the first word is large and uh, the remaining letters are small so what I mean by this is we click this and uh, select this and you get this effect and you can select how many rows how many lines it covers so three is fine and how many letters are covered in this so you can even have an entire word or just one letter and once you are done with this um, look out uh, one thing you might want to do is select all the text and keep it a size 9 or 8 so I'll keep it size 9 and remove remove all these extra spaces that you have let us just uh, create another text box here So there. 
now let's look at it this perspective you have a pretty decent looking you have a pretty decent looking article now uh, we need to use uh, alignment justification here and uh, we need to fix um, in some more photographs we need to do in some more uh, formatting on the text we need to do a lot of uh, refinement to this and then it will look like a proper magazine page uh, that's it for this tutorial we'll come back next time with uh, some more tutorials on bmlife.com make sure to like comment and subscribe on this video uh, in order to get future updates on this channel thank you